One more day. One more day. Hey guys, what's up? So Quadrant Detective here investigating your favorite albums. And today I'm going to be doing an album review on the new uh, Laufey, or actually pronounced Laufey album, Bewitched. So yeah, one more day and then I'm leaving this place. I'm leaving America and I'm going back to my home. That is Hong Kong. Uh, but uh, fret not, because three months later I will return to this California again. So um, that's going to be exciting. But anyways, this is going to be the last time you'll see me sitting at this seat in front of this silly, goofy little wall and talk. So uh, enjoy while it lasts. But anyways, today I'm going to be doing an album review on the new, uh, I've already said that, Lofe album, Bewitched. And I had no intentions of reviewing this album because, <clears throat> you know, you know me, I'm not the kind of guy who would listen to, you know, mainstream pop music whatever and if i do review it, it would usually be a very lame score like a five out of ten or even lower so seeing this singer songwriter thing um i'm not really excited to listen to it but i heard some really good uh, response i heard some really good noise surrounding this album so i thought to myself you know what might as well check out this album and lo and behold I am impressed. I'm quite impressed. So Loi Fei is a half Chinese, half Icelandic singer songwriter, and she blew up partially because of her very frequent and funny TikTok releases. I don't use TikTok. That's probably why I don't really listen to her all that much. But even so, in the music sphere, I keep hearing her name come up. Essentially, she makes traditional vintage pop music with a touch of jazz and this got everyone saying oh my god jazz music is becoming mainstream this is jazz this is not jazz this is traditional pop music with a touch of jazz there are some really good jazzy moments here but this isn't jazz but even so i'm happy that this style of vintage pop music is i guess making a bit of a comeback Essentially, Lo Fei reminds me of a more mentally stable Mitski, and uh, it sounds like she came straight out of the 1950s. So, the album opener, Dreamer, is already a very stellar opener with beautiful vocal layers in the beginning, easygoing saloon pianos, soft hi hats, a light bass. It's a really, really sweet opening that I really enjoy. The second track is second best, and uh, stripping back all its jazzy elements, it does sound like a Billie Eilish ballad, but even so, that doesn't stop the track from sounding really nice with the gentle swaying guitars and drums. It's essentially a slow moving lullaby in 6-8 time signature, and it's pretty nice. The track Haunted starts off with a gorgeous string intro, and then you get these light bossa nova guitars, and the sour vocal melodies that are also kind of nostalgic, which makes the track so dreamy and hazy. And lo Fei just really managed to nail that 1950s, 1960s vintage pop, my bloody valentine, that, that tone is just... <laughs> Um, or My Funny Valentine, what, what, what am I even singing? I, I'm thinking of the Shoegaze Band. Um, anyways, Lovesick feels more modern with its banging drums and the expressive vocals. Again, this is where the Mitski comparisons come in with the expressive vocals, but then you also get the descriptive lyrics about being lovesick, which is really simple, but I really like it. It conveyed its lovesick message really well. And then we have California and Me, which is... Uh, Sonically, it's beautiful with the glistening pianos and the lively clarinets from an orchestra. The pianos are so light and shimmery. It's like I'm listening to Debussy's Arabesque or something. And it's just such a dreamy and beautiful song for such a shitty place. <laughs> like, <laughs> I would never write a song like this. Following that, we have Nocturne Interlude, which is essentially the ex ex the, an extension of the previous track, but only the pianos. And again, the pianos are gorgeous. And no, I don't think this is like a Chopin cover or something. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not an expert in classical music. Leave me alone. From the start is the song that sort of blew up. Uh, the song that blew up on TikTok and people are saying, oh, jazz is making a comeback. Yeah, it's jazz, but even more so, it's 
bossa nova. This is a cheeky bossa nova pop tune. The lyrics are really simple, but the way she sings those lyrics, it's with so much certainty and passion, it makes those lyrics really shine through. And then Misty is an ethereal slow jazz song with charming vocals and slow hi-hats. And it's, it's songs like this that's uh, I describe them as songs to fall asleep to, and I don't say it in a bad light at all. They're just so soft, so pillowy. It reminds me of that other song that I've heard like a thousand times, but I don't know the name of. I probably sound like an idiot right now, but anyways, that's this what this song reminds me of. Letter to My 13 Year Old Self is a highlight on the album for me. I love the calming strings and the soft, folky guitars, and it just makes the track a very emotional and humane moment on the album. And again, this track is about Letter to Her 13 Year Old Self. It's pretty self-explanatory, and um, it's uh, really well done, really emotional. And then the album ends off with the title track, which is, I think, a really nice ending to the album. The rush of strings in the beginning re really make me feel like I'm watching a romantic drama from the 1940s or 50s. And then the swelling strings in the middle of the track get really climactic, and it's beautiful. It's amazing. So yeah, overall, I actually um, unexpectedly like this album quite a bit. I think this is a really good album. I love the bringing back of the vintage traditional pop with bit of jazz here, a bit of bossa nova there, it's really beautiful. Uh, that said though, there are moments on the album where it does feel kind of derivative, she plays it safe, it's kind of inoffensive, but it's still really good. Like this, I don't say that to a lot of mainstream music, but I, I do find myself re-listening to this album from time to time, because the track, some of the tracks are legit really good. So yeah, you know what? Surprise, surprise, I'm giving the new Lofe album Bewitched a light 8 out of 10. Yeah. So if you listen to the new Lofe album, comment below, let me know, subscribe if you want more. Thanks for watching.